Good morning, I am here in Fort Lauderdale and we are about to head out on a five night Marvel Day at Sea Disney cruise. So originally we were planning to go down to Grand Cayman, but because of the weather, some things have been changing and they just announced that to us about 48 hours before the cruise was to begin. So on this video, we'll take you through what it's like to have embarkation day in Fort Lauderdale on a Disney cruise. We will be showing you some of the things that have changed in our itinerary and we will be getting ready for Marvel Day at Sea. So join us for the next few days on this Disney cruise adventure. After putting on the luggage tags we received from Disney, it was time to head to Disney Cruise Line's new dedicated cruise terminal at Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale. One of the things that's different at Port Everglades compared to most of the ports I've been to is before you even approach the cruise terminals, they have a security check where every adult in the car needs to show their ID and they'll ask you an additional security question or two. After passing the security checkpoint, it was off to the Disney dream. The way this new cruise terminal works is all guests, whether they're driving their own vehicle or getting dropped off, pull into the parking garage. At this point, all guests can drop off their luggage for the porters to take to the ship. Guests who will be parking their car in the parking structure can go and park on the upper floors after dropping off their luggage. And for everyone else, after dropping off your luggage, you can make your way to the cruise terminal. Now it's time to show our passports and port arrival form. If you've been on a Disney cruise before, make sure you use the Castaway Club line as it is much shorter. This is Disney's second year round home port after the original home port at Port Canaveral. And this terminal is themed to the big blue world of Finding Nemo. There was plenty of seating here. It felt like a lot more seating than is available at Port Canaveral. They also have plenty of outlets to charge devices. Up above that area is where you can see the concierge lounge. And here's a peek inside. Of course, they have restrooms and a photo backdrop if you want to take any of your own pictures while you're waiting. They also have a separate desk where you can make sure your Magic Band Plus or what Disney Cruise Line calls your Disney Band Plus is working correctly so you can use it on the ship to enter your stateroom, link photographs, and charge expenses. Once your boarding group is called, you can make your way to the ship's entrance. Before you walk through the Mickey-shaped entrance, they have three photographers taking your first pictures of the cruise. This process really went fast. Now it's time for us to head aboard the beautiful Disney Dream. Just one more scan before it's official. As is our tradition, we're headed up to Cabanas for lunch. All right, so we are now aboard the Disney Dream. The process was really smooth at the new Fort Lauderdale or the Port Everglades port. It was very nice. And now we are up in Cabanas and we will show you what we got. We'll start with my nephew. Okay, buddy, tell us what you got. So I got chicken. Chicken tenders. So a codfish. Codfish and salmon. And, and a steak. steak. And what's that one? And lamb and pizza and fries. Yeah. Yep. And it looks like I I am less cultured than him because I got the mac and cheese and chicken tenders. I also got codfish, some beef, some steak, and some salmon. So. All right, everyone is diving in, and we're gonna ask my nephew, buddy, what's your favorite item so far? The pizza, the codfish. Pretty much everything. <laughs> the pizza, the codfish, pretty much everything. I think that's reasonable. This little gal, what do you like so far? This 
salmon's been a big hit. Oh yeah, and salmon, the mac and cheese. Salmon and mac and cheese for this one. Just grab some dessert. I'm gonna probably go back and grab maybe another thing or two, but I got a carrot cake, which is always a popular one. The strawberry pot de creme, which is always delicious. And my nephew, want to tell us what you got? I got a chocolate chip cookie, ice cream, and a carrot cake. And what's special about the ice cream? That's lactose free. Yeah, so if you want lactose free ice cream, you can ask here at Cabana's and they will give that to you. So today's flavor they had, and maybe it's the usual flavor, is chocolate. So, yep. Now we're going to tour some of the areas that will be off limits to different ages throughout most of the cruise. Here is Remy, the adult exclusive restaurant. And Palo, also for those 18 and over. And because it's an open house, we can all enter the kids club. My nephew was pretty excited to drive the Millennium Falcon. You gotta steer, buddy. Here is the Buena Vista Theater. During our cruise, they will be showing Wish along with a lot of Marvel movies. And now a quick tour of our room. This couch of course becomes a bed, and there is a bed that comes down from the ceiling, so it's kind of like bunk beds. Here's the split bathrooms. This time we were able to get connecting staterooms. Now it's time for the mandatory safety drill. After the sell away party, we decide to enjoy the view from our veranda. Join us for dinner at Animator's Palette here on the Disney Dream. We're going to talk about the menu, what we ordered, and what we thought of the whole experience. So let's dive in. We all really enjoyed our appetizers. The black truffle pasta is always a favorite in our family. And I also have another favorite now that I have to order two each time, the tomato tart. So both of those were delicious for me. The baked potato and cheddar cheese soup was also very good. It is not a thick potato soup, but a very great flavor. Each of us enjoyed our entrees also. In the future, I would have asked for a steak knife to cut my pork chop because it was very thick and the butter knife was not doing the job. Our server said he loved the pasta and he brought that and that also had a delicious flavor. At this point in the mill, Crush the Sea Turtle taught us how to swim like a turtle. There's a lot of great desserts on this menu. The two I would recommend least is the chocolate fudge cheesecake. I feel like it's kind of dry and the flavor isn't very strong. And also the apple crumble rice pudding was not quite what we were expecting. But we love the crunchy walnut cake and the lemon icebox pie was delicious. We also had a sundae, but I think I ate it so fast that I didn't even film it. We are walking out of Animator's Palette in my nephew's review. 
really the food is good. My dessert was good, like the ice cream for the apple pie. The ice cream was really good. So he liked it all, so it was very delicious. Then it was time to see Pluto. Huh. All right. Should we get a group shot? Throughout the cruise, we're going to be asking all the characters and heroes to sign our Captain America shields, and Pluto gets to be the very first one. All of them. All right, so we're wrapping up the day, and it was a very good day. It's always a little stressful when you are arriving at the port because there's so many things to do beforehand, but once you get on the ship, it is all good. And yeah, the new Fort Lauderdale or Port Everglades port for Disney is very nice. It is very nicely Nemo themed inside. And then, yeah, there was plenty of seating, plenty of places to charge your phone. And yeah, because the parking drop off area is all covered, that was helpful too because it was raining. But then the sun came out later in the day and yeah, the ship was rocking a little bit at first, but I can't feel it now. We had a lovely dinner at Animator's, Pal Animator's Palette and then we had a very fun viewing of the Golden Mickeys. And so I've seen it a few times. It was my nephew's first show. What did you think, buddy? Uh, good and weird because they stopped the show during the show. Yeah, and so what happens is the show starts and then something happens and a new host has to take over, huh? So Minnie kind of encouraged the new host, huh? Yeah, but then the at the end, uh, May came out. Yeah, Mickey came out at the end, and it was a lot of fun. And so, yeah, so we had a... It even was like the View and Beast attraction. The Beast turned back into the Prince. Yeah, the Beast turned back into the Prince, so lots of good moments. And tomorrow, we are going to be at Castaway Key. So as I mentioned, our port order has changed. So originally, Castaway Key would have been our last day, but is now going to be kind of our first official day, full day here on the ship. And so that will be tomorrow morning. So we are going to get, head to bed. So we have plenty of time to get some rest so we can have some fun tomorrow. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like and consider subscribing to the channel because we have a whole week of fun coming our way. So we have Marvel Day at Sea, we have Palo Brunch, we have Nassau, we have a lot of things coming. So definitely subscribe so you can follow along. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all again real soon. Bye. Bye.